Hello, this is a video on how to play uh, Mexican Train Dominoes. Uh, now, Mexican Train Dominoes uh, is a set of dom. It's a domino game that uh, can be enjoyed by a group of players, um, and so it can be played from anywhere by anywhere from ten uh, from two to ten players. Um, and you also need something to keep score, um, and so. Uh, you'll need a double 12 uh, set of dominoes for Mexican train dominoes. It's strictly played with a double 12 set. Uh, the first round starts with a double 12. Uh, the second round starts with the double 11 and so on down to the double zero starting the last round. Um, in this case, we're only playing with three uh, playing three rounds. And so we're going to go double 12, double 11, double 10 uh, just for time's sake uh, because 12 rounds can, I mean, 13 rounds actually, right? Counting the double zero. Uh, can get quite time consuming um, and so the beginning double domino is set to the side uh, while players are drawing dominoes and players draw the following amount of dominoes uh, based on how many players are playing um, and so if you have two to four players like we do here uh, they'll take 15 dominoes each um, if you have five to six players they'll get uh, 12 dominoes each if you have seven to eight players they'll get uh, 10 dominoes each and if you have nine to ten players they'll get uh, eight dominoes each uh, the extra dominoes are pushed to the side uh, to create uh, the draw pile. In this case, we have 10 dominoes we can draw from. Um, and so the objective of the game is to have the lowest score at the end of the game. Um, each round ends when a player has played all of his dominoes into the middle. Uh, players add up the total value on their unplayed dominoes at the end of each round. Uh, total value on their dots. Um, and so dominoes are played into the middle by matching dominoes together with the same number. Uh, and so it's just that simple. Um, and so... Uh, what we'll do is we'll match the um, six there. And so it's just that simple, really. Um, and so how is how is played? So I read out the rules, right? Um, and so the objective is just to get rid of all your dominoes and have the lowest score at the end of all of the rounds. Uh, you get rid of dominoes by playing matching dominoes. Um, Note that um, there are two simple things. This is very simple, right? Just play dominoes, matching dominoes, get rid of all your dominoes. That's the basic objective of the game. Uh, note that if you play a double domino, like we'll do here, a player must play another domino on the double domino. And if you can't, um, uh, then what you'll have to do um, is you'll have to uh, draw a domino. And... If there's an open double domino that has not been played on, uh, no other player can play until that double domino has been played on. And so let's say I don't play on this 2-2 two, two here. No other player will, would be able to play uh, in the entire game. It would restrict every player. And so note that if I didn't play on that double domino, these players would be forced to play a 2 a matching 2 before they could make any other move. Even if they could play on their own trains, it doesn't matter. They have to, if there's any double domino on the board that's open, it must be played on before any other move can be made. And so that, that talks about the double dominoes. And so now we'll just uh, go with the uh, regular uh, game here. I know that that's a two, and so what we'll do is we'll play the uh, two here. Notice how that was a double domino. Gracie couldn't play, and so she had to draw. When you're unable to make a play that you should be able to make, you have to draw a domino from the boneyard. Um, and so in this case, I'm just going to play a blank domino here. Okay, let's just talk about what happened. When a player is unable to play on their train, uh, they must draw a domino from the boneyard. Uh, the drawn domino is then played if possible. If the drawn domino cannot be played, 
Like in Gracie's case, she could not play the drawn domino. The player must open their train by placing a marker, such as a penny, uh, on top of the last domino in his or her train. And so look at penny is... Uh, if you look, you can see that a penny is placed in uh, Gracie's train. Um, and so the train remains open until the owner of the train plays a domino onto it. And so note that if I played a domino onto it, the train would still stay open. An open train means any player can play a domino on it. The train only closes once the owner of the train uh, plays a domino on that open train. And then so uh, that's essentially, I guess, the gist. Uh, what we'll do is we'll place a domino like so. Um, we do, what we'll do is, we can't actually place the domino there anymore, and so we'll place that uh, open domino there. Um, Gracie got rid of all of her dominoes there, and so she won the first round. So now me and Sophia, uh, we then uh, add up the total value uh, of the dots remaining on our dominoes. And so that's how you play uh, Mexican Chain Dominoes. Um, once again, if a double is played, it must be played on before any other dominoes are played. Um, and so a train is only closed, an open train is only closed when played on by its owner. And so let's play... Um, another round here um, and so what I'll do is I'll play like so note that this stimulates this simulates sorry um, every player playing on the middle domino right that's the double five um, and so in real life this would just be each player branching off the corner of the middle domino starting their own train um, Um, and so what we'll do here is we'll just play like so. And so that train is open, right? Um, and so now it's actually closed. And so you just get rid of dominoes like so. Gracie's passing. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to play this domino there. Notice how... Um, uh, Gracie was unable to make a move and play. If, if you're unable to make a play when you need to play it, you have to open your train. And so Gracie marked her open train with a penny there. Um, and so now we'll just uh, continue. Now let's talk about this. These trains are blocked. So what does that mean? This is a special occurrence and it does happen. Um, and so I think you've overall just seen the gist of the game. Get rid of as many dominoes as you can. Um, double dominoes must be played on before any other move can be made. The player who gets rid of their dominoes first wins the round. Once a player gets rid of all their dominoes, the round ends. Um, and that's basically the essential gist of it. The player with the lowest score after all the rounds have been played wins. Um, and rounds are agreed upon by a predetermined amount. Um, and so let's talk about this. This is uh, called, um, this is when the train gets blocked. And so when the train gets blocked, it essentially means that uh, the, I guess, number on each end of the train no longer exists anywhere um, with any player. And so notice how the number on each of these trains is 5. The trains are blocked here, right? You notice that black uh, barricade. The trains are blocked because no player has a five. And so no player would be able to play on this train extending it. And so the train gets blocked 
when the number on the end of the train does not exist in any player's hand of dominoes. And so this is good for us. This essentially means that um, we should be able to hopefully play on our own hand if we can. And so this is actually bad because we've passed, which has opened our train for the other players to play. Um, luckily for us, uh, this has played a proper um, proper hand. So all these players are passing. Okay. So note that uh, this is one more scenario. Uh, other than that, the game is pretty easy, but this is one more scenario I had to talk about here. Uh, what happens when uh, you have to draw, but there are no dominoes in the boneyard? Um, and so if the boneyard is empty and a player cannot play, that player's turn is skipped. And so this would open the train. Yeah, right there, opening the train. Um, we cannot play and we cannot draw. And so once again, this would open the train. Uh, there's a one right there um, and so we're able to play a one right there closing the train so we're able to play a one and now each player adds up the value of the do uh, dots on the dominoes in their hand and so we are leading um and so uh that sums up how to play uh mexican train dominoes it's very easy uh just remember that each player has their own train if you're unable to play, uh, you open your own train, and your own train only closes. If you have an open train, it only closes once the owner of the open train plays a domino on that same train. If a double domino is played, uh, it must be played on, um, and the train must be continued before any other move can be made. Um, and that essentially sums up how to play uh, Mexican train dominoes. Uh, note that if the boneyard is empty, you simply pass your turn if you cannot play. Um, and every time you cannot play, you open your train. Well, that's how to play Mexican uh, train dominoes. Uh, the winner of the round is the player who gets rid of all their dominoes first. The objective is to have the lowest score uh, at the end of all the rounds. Uh, points are scored by adding up the number of dots on your dominoes remaining in your hand. Uh, that sums up how to play Mexican train dominoes. Um, and thank you for watching.